And this was on the way to Emmaus. He met two disciples of his. He met two disciples of his. On the way to Emmaus. <laughs> now look at the way the disciples thought. Look at the thinking pattern of the disciples. Now in order for you to appreciate why I am making this illustration. Remember Jesus spent all of his time with these disciples. Taught them. Ate with them. Send them to preach. They saw miracles in his name. Taught them many things by parables. Slept with them. Was with them. He died and all of them forgot everything. Hmm. He died and all of them forgot everything. Now, look at the way they reasoned. Luke 24, 19. And that is to show you that a man can be in church all his life and has never understood John 3, 16. All his life. He is quoting it and singing it. But he doesn't know what he's talking about. Because if these guys were physically with Jesus and were taught by Jesus himself and pastored by Jesus himself, and he said unto them, what things? Because they said to Jesus, uh, are you a stranger in town? Are you, not, are you not aware of the things that happened these past days? And Jesus said to them, they are rebuking Jesus. So, what things? And they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, look at their evaluation, which was a prophet. Which was a prophet. As far as they are concerned, Jesus, Elijah, and Jeremiah were in the same class. Which, so they never knew who he was. For all the time they were with him, then you can imagine why some pastors don't even know who Jesus is. They preach business success. They preach how to make it. They preach relationship and adore. They preach marriage antibiotics. But they don't know Christ. And it reflects in the members of such churches. When you engage their members, you will see the same vomit that their pastor has vomited into them. Because the man you drink from, you can't be different from him. You are what you eat. When you start talking to them, you hear them say, how to succeed. Keys to success. Because that's all they are. Out of the abundance of the heart, a man can't give what he doesn't have. <laughs> he can't. Can you imagine? These guys have been with Jesus. Somebody said to me, Dr. Damina, you said we shouldn't preach anything outside Christ. So how do we survive? I say you don't need Christ to survive. If you don't need Christ, any Christian that is still struggling to survive, even without Christ, you will have been a dummy. Naturally, it means you are a dummy. That is, if they remove Christ from the equation and they mix you with unbelievers, they will beat you hands down. It means on your own, you are a natural dummy. And he said unto them, what things? And they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and what before God and all the people. And now the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. Next verse. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. That redemption, there is no redemption from sin. What they are talking about is political power. Redeemed Israel. And beside all this, Today is the third day since these things were done. Next verse. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. Next verse. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. 24. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even as the women had said. But him they saw not. Look at what Jesus said to them. O fools. And bradoscadia. Slow of heart. To believe. So you could see that the experiences. Their experience of Jesus. Did not go beyond their understanding. 
their experience, even though they experience Jesus, is one thing to have experiences. It's a different thing to have an understanding. Their experience couldn't go beyond their understanding of Jesus. It couldn't go beyond. They said women went to his grave and didn't see him. And they still called him a prophet. And felt he was a messenger. And that was a bar. A barrier on their soul. Jesus didn't come with thus say of the Lord. Mm -mm. <laughs> Jesus didn't come with thus say of the Lord. He was the Lord speaking. Glory to God. He didn't come with a thus say of the Lord. All the prophets said, thus say of the Lord. Jesus didn't say, thus say of the Lord. He spoke the things concerning himself. <laughs>